Hi everyone, I wanted to do a wee video to show you how I fix something that it turns out can break on a Berlingo. So on the windows there are these like fittings. Um, there's three of them on each window on the two side windows and it turns out that they can loosen themselves and then fall off whilst you're driving never to be seen or heard from again, uh, which is not very much fun. So if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen that one of these fell off my window quite some time ago. I think it might have been in early November. Uh, it took me a little while to find another one on eBay to get it sent somewhere. It turned up at a friend's house by which time I was across the other side of Scotland. So it got sent on to me and then I realised with very cold hands on a very chilly day that it's not a one woman job and I needed a little bit of help to fix it. So it's actually something I ended up doing over Christmas with my brother's help. He's such a handy guy. I thought I'd share how I fixed it so that if you have the same thing happen to you it saves you a little bit of time and if you do have a Berlingo or a Peugeot partner I thoroughly recommend tightening these up all of the screws on the inside of these windows to avoid this happening and them falling off in the first place. So I am currently tucked into a really little space uh, in the back of silver trying to fix a an issue with my side window and it turns out the moulding is in the way of getting it re-screwed to pop a new one on. So when I ordered a new one, I tried to do it, couldn't get it on. My brother has some handy tools that I can use for this kind of thing and is also just good at this stuff. So I'm attempting it, but I'm squeezed in a very small space. If I succeed in doing this, I shall share it so that it is easier for other people. It's a bit of a nightmare at the moment. I'm filming. I don't know why I'm whispering because I'm not going to use this sound for this. <laughs> So my brother came up with a wonderful and a slightly bizarre solution. We couldn't get the moulding off and it turns out we didn't need to. We just needed to protect the moulding, which turns out is really soft, from um, damage with the screwdriver. And we used a little compliments card from Tesco's. Tesco's in Avermore. Johnny, thank you for giving me this. I never filled it in because I'm useless and I always forget. But you just saved the day. So I will show you what we did. You can't really get the screwdriver in straight here, which is why we thought the moulding would need to come off. But so long as someone is putting enough pressure on the outside, you can just about squeeze the screwdriver in and get the screw tightened up. It's a bit fiddly, but totally doable. Sometimes van life leads to some weird food combinations, and this is quite possibly my latest. I was staying with my cousin over the weekend, and she made a lovely roast yesterday, and I had some leftover nut roast because it was quite big. I didn't need all of it, so she sent me away with it, all wrapped up. I took it out of my fridge and squeezed it between my two hot water bottles this evening while I was driving to my park up for the night to warm it up a little bit so it wasn't chilly. And then I have just pop it, popped it on some lettuce and have used some of this aubergine spread from Lidl, uh, which turns out is only 15% aubergine, but they're clever enough on the back to say organic vegetable spread with aubergine and sunflower seeds. Anyway, it tastes good. There's definitely aubergine in it. I love aubergine. And um, it doesn't have any weird ingredients, which is good. Like nothing I don't understand, which is always a positive with something like this. And the combination tastes kind of amazing. The nut roast is quite dry, so the aubergine spread was my solution to making it less dry. And on the lettuce, it tastes really good. It's messy to eat because I didn't get a plate out when I parked up. And I'm trying to be really quiet when I'm parked. But it tastes really good. Mm, I'm going to eat the rest. I had an awesome time seeing my nephew last week, which included playing in his mud pit. And then I spent a load of money getting two new back tights, which this lovely quick fit guy let me film. As you probably know, if you saw my last video, I have been traveling through England, catching up with friends and family on a strange and windy journey north back to Scotland. So I don't tend to film very much when I'm with friends and family, but uh, I've spent the last couple of days exploring. I stopped through a couple of cities I'd never been to before when I was in the area and catching up with people uh, and I'm in Norfolk right now and I have seen some absolutely stunning beaches the last couple of days and had some beautiful weather. Just two days of it, two days of beautiful weather. So here's a sneak peek of that footage and then the rest of that will go in the next video. So if you don't already subscribe, please subscribe so that you don't miss that next video and thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.
Thank you.